so good morning, YouTube. So here's uh, Olivier, one of the, the students, and Lillian, the translator. So uh, be running this over the course of the day, see, uh, see how it goes. So I'll speak to you all soon. So making our way into the place of training today. So it seems quite nice around here. No idea what that means, but I'm sure some of you can uh, translate it for me. Cool. And there's Lillian. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is Laurence. So I'd say just talk to the lens. Hello. Nice and nice. Nice to you. meet you. <laughs> That's it. So uh, I'll be spending uh, the next three days. Yeah. Three days with Laurence, so you'll see a lot more of Laurence uh, <laughs> during the day and uh, on the recordings. Okay, fine. So, I'll speak soon. <laughs> Still a gorgeous day here in Geneva. The thing I love about teaching uh, beginners is that there is no um, ritual or restrictions that have been put in place by any sort of bad teaching or anything like that. And so I've had some amazing questions that are, uh, are so simple to um, bring to the classroom that almost seem logical. And so we have to ask ourselves as mediums and teachers of mediumship, uh, at what point do we place these restrictions on the student's mind? I mean, I've got 18 people in this class and maybe 15 of them are beginners and uh, already they're up and running at a, 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 a good rate. Whether they keep that up or not will be down to their practice, but um, other than that, it's the, the questions that they're coming out with are phenomenal. Uh, and, and so a very distinct difference between working with a beginner and working with the, the restrictions of an advanced medium through old school teaching. We, we really have to look at that. We really have to sort of understand where we're placing that restriction on the people. So same for us to uh, all think about, us the teachers of us in this uh, community. Um, worth having a, a think about, really. So for now, Speak to you all later. This is our evening meal. So, ciao for now. Seems like a good place to uh, catch it in the background. So behind me you'll see the, uh, the Geneva water spout. How high? How high? 
Yeah, that's right. How high is this waterfall? This water shoot? 140 metres. Just behind there. So it seems like a good point to uh, round up today and uh, get this out to you lot. So I'll speak to you all soon.